I'm Tony Sanity. This is an important day for the toy garden and therefore the world. Today is National Plant of Flower Day, March 12th. Uh, we're not going to be planting a flower on account of the weather, but I'm going to show you the flowers I'm going to plant. Uh, but more importantly, we're going to open Frank the Plant. Frank the Plant. Newest addition to the toy garden. Frank the Plant. I've never been so excited about a pop that I never even knew existed. For in fact, a, sh a show I never even <laughs> knew existed. <laughs> uh, pop Heroes of the DC line, number nine, or 497, Frank the Plant. So apparently, starting back in 2019, there's an HBO Max Harley Quinn animated series. Never seen it, never even knew it existed. But it's been on for three seasons. Three seasons. It's amazing what you don't know when you don't know. But we were there, we were there at the uh, flea market. And we came across someone selling Frank the Plant. And I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my gosh. Absolutely have to have it. He can hang out with Penelope and Julian and Carney and the Piranha Plant, of course. Never saw the show, but I did just watch some clips. And wow, this is an interesting show. It is probably funny, but uh, my dude, Frank the Plant, he's voiced by J.B. Smoove. And he just cusses nonstop. My gosh. He's portrayed not as Harley Quinn's pet, but as Harley Quinn's best friend. And of course, I'm saying it wrong, Poison Ivy's best friend. Poison Ivy's best friend. Of course, Harley Quinn is Poison Ivy's lover. I know that was established long ago in the comics. And I know, you know, I know, you know, I know, you know. Uh, Harley Quinn, I keep saying it wrong. Poison Ivy, Pamela Isley can make plants, you know, do her bidding. But I never she knew she could make them speak and have, like, complex personalities. Now, of course, uh, I think it's revealed in the show. I think I saw a clip. He says he was he lived like 10 years in a dog park, getting peed on by the dogs until she rescued him and brought him to life. He's a Venus flytrap, which is, which is weird anyway, because I'm pretty sure this show takes place in New York, Gotham City, New York. But listen, are you aware that the Venus flytraps, they only grow in this coastal area near Wilmington, North Carolina. I've been to the Conservancy there. I've seen the only place Venus flytraps grow in the wild. And recently, I just heard in the news, some folks, I don't think they, I think they uh, did not get arrested, but some people were in that Conservancy stealing Venus flytraps, 600 Venus flytraps. And I think they ditched them in a backpack and got away. Oh my God, what, what a crazy story. Venus flytraps are so rare. In the wild. Like I said, only North Carolina. Uh, but anyway, he was in a dog park in Brooklyn. And she brought him to life or whatever. I don't know how it works. <clears throat> I read that in season three, he is kidnapped by Batman. Uh, I don't know. I don't have HBO Max. Have you seen the show? Let me know if you've seen the show. I just like, you know, the hashtag Toy Garden. I just like, you know, how much I like plant monsters and plant maniacs. So he does have to be carried around. Oh, yeah, yeah. These aren't, th these are butt cheeks. He does have to be carried around. Like, he can help her. I don't know if she fights crime in the show. Well, I guess. I, I guess she's a superhero. But he can help her by swallowing people. But he has to be carried around. So he's kind of like uh, Oscar the Grouch. He has to be carried around. He can't leave his pot, okay? And I read that he's friends with Clayface and King Shark. Well, that sounds interesting because I like those characters too. Uh, Lake Bell plays Poison Ivy. I think Kaylee Quilco, Quilco plays Harley Quinn. And I already said uh, J.B. Smoove plays her voices. Frank the Plant. And there's also the Joker. I didn't look that up. And Dr. Psycho. Didn't look that up. HBO Max. Very adult themed. 
animated show. I mean, the dude, the dude is just cussing nonstop. But what a cool figure! I should have brought the. Uh, I should have brought the. Uh, I should have found and brought the. Boom! <clears throat> Feed me Seymour, Little Shop of Horror. This is. This might be the pop of the year. I don't know. We got it a couple months ago. This might be the pop of recent years. I think it's my favorite one since the Little Shop of Horrors pop. And I don't even know the show. I don't know the show. Don't watch the show. Don't care to watch the show. But love it. Great colors. Great sculpt. And his eye, he has eyes on eye stalks. Kind of like the dude in Pan's Labyrinth. And I guess he can use these tendrils as arms. A little bit like Carney, but his eyes are on stalks coming from up here. You know, instead of down in like a like a like a trunk area and of course Penelope has arms but the eyes are up on the flower part and then we all know piranha plant has no eyes and then a you know happy little sunflower too okay what a time to be alive what a time to be twin senior oh wait we're supposed to look at these real quick these are the sunflowers I collected last year from the planet group and these are the Zinnias. I kept all the zinnia heads so I can plant hundreds of zinnias sometime soon. The sunflowers, I don't think we want to plant as many sunflowers. I was mainly just having the, having the time of my life harvesting them every day. That sunflower grew thousands more flowers than uh, than they typically do. I, I I cared for my plants well last season. Okay, we got to get some flowers in the ground. Happy National Plant a Flower Day. Plant a Flower Day. March the 12th. 